Hello everybody, how are you all? This, uh, these are difficult times and you're all stuck at home and I know it can be boring, but we have fun at art class, don't we? So I thought we might do something similar uh, and you can work away at home with your mom or your dad or your brothers and your sisters in your own time. And I thought we'd start with something that maybe we've done before some of you will know this exercise, this art exercise, and it's got to do with creating a new animal. Anyone remember that? What we do is we take uh, animals from different groups, animals that live on a farm, animals that live in the jungle, insects, animals that live in the sea, and maybe pets. How about that? So those are f five groups of animals, and if you can take the time to make your own list. So if Al will follow me, Al is filming this for me. So here we go. Farm animals, jungle animals, insects, and fish. Let's call those our four groups. Now, what I want you to do is pause the film, take the time to try and think of some animals in each of these groups, and we'll come back in a minute. I'll start you off with, how about a cow? Who can spell that? Very simple. C-O-W. Jungle. What lives in the jungle? What about an insect? A spider. That's a good one. Fish. Sharks. Scary ones. A shark. Now, there's the start of your list. So see if you can think of one, two, three, four more farm animals. Four more animals in the jungle. Four more insects and four more animals that live in the sea. That's going to be a hard one. Let me see who can do it. See you later. Hello, back again. Did you make your list? I made one here. Let me see, did we get any animals the same on both our lists? So here's my list from the farm. The cow, a horse, a pig, a chicken, and the duck. Did you get them? Doesn't matter if you didn't. Others might be a goat. What about a sheep? All of those animals live on the farm. Now the jungle. Snake, elephant, giraffe, lion, monkey. All of these live in the jungle. Did you get a list like that? What else could there be? Rhinoceros. Um, warthog. Anybody get warthog? Insects. Spider. Ladybird. I bet you all got that one. A bee. Butterfly. Ant. And fish. Shark, jellyfish. Jellyfish is a good one. Crab. It's not really a fish, but it does live in the sea. Salmon. Starfish. That's not really a fish either, but it lives in the sea. Now, I'm going to pick one from each category, and we're going to take bits from each animal and make a new animal. So, I'm going to close my eyes. And Ali is going to tell me when to stop. Here we go. Stop. Pig. Okay. Here we go again. Your mum can do this with you. You have to close your eyes and your mum will tell you when to stop. Okay, Ali. Stop. Lion. Oh. 
Here we go again. Stop. Spider. Okay. Stop. Starfish. Oh my god, how am I going to make a, a new animal out of them? All right, they have to rub out all the rest. And we leave those. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. <laughs> okay, we'll pause for a minute and we'll come right back. Hello, welcome back. So, do you remember our list? And here's the ones we picked. Pig, lion, spider, and starfish. Okay, now we have to make a new animal taking bits from all these. So, will we give it a pig's head? Let's see. One pig's head. This is his snout. And there's his big floppy ears. Now, what sort of a body will we give him? Will we give him a starfish's body? Wait till we see. What happens if you give something a starfish body? Uh -huh. How many legs has a starfish? Does anybody know? He has three here, but I tell you what, let's give him some spider's legs instead. Wouldn't that be fun? Spider has funny sort of legs like this. Right? How many legs does a spider have? Who knows? I think it's six, isn't it? Let's give him six legs anyway. It can be our spider. And he has legs on the other side as well. Now he has six legs. And what's the last thing? A lion. Aha! So he has a pig's head, a starfish body, spider's legs, and what about a big lion's tail? Let's give him a big lion's tail. Whoa! And let's give him some lion's legs as well for running. Because spiders don't run very fast, so they don't. Uh oh. Now, so what do we have? A pig lion spider. Starfish. Well, let's call him the piggy lion spider fish. The piggy lion spider fish. Want to have a go? Pick your animals, decide how they go together, and pick bits from each one. Now, we're going to pause again because I'm going to color this and when you come back, you'll see the finished thing. Okay, see you later. Um. Hello and welcome back again. Well, what do you think? He's a bit scary looking, isn't he? He's got a pig's head and pig's ears and a little pig's snout and spider's legs. And he's got two lion's legs here at the back so he can run faster. And his body is a starfish, most of a starfish, and he's got a big long lion's tail. He's a bit of a mess really, isn't he? Don't you think? Did you do your own? How did it turn out? When we get back to school, I want you to bring in your finished paintings and we'll have a look and we'll stick them up on the wall. Okay? All right?
Maybe another art class next week. See you all then. Bye.